All right. Another day working on the car. I always forget to record. Um, today's agenda was power steering stuff. I think I had it mounted correctly. So I'm gonna show you guys where it was. I'm gonna grab this because I need to use this. And where it's going. Obviously I drained it, got all the lines out. I also added a little analog pressure gauge. We're looking for 15. So if I can max this out, this would be sick. But I don't think this pump could do that much. But anyways, so it used to be up there. And I was thinking that since the gravity fed, I just wasn't getting it fed properly. So now I'm putting it right here. We actually make these. I designed this one a long time ago. This is the first prototype I made. But I'm going to probably put a couple welds in this real quick. Just a little one, a little one, a little one. So it's, so it's kind of in here. If I have to cut it out and change it, I will. But yeah, this is it. I'll try to do this real quick. Wish me luck. Let's weld it in. Inside a couple. And put some right here because that wasn't done. It's kind of hot. Ow. It's kind of in there though. Y'all already know. My ass is crazy. Should have been home. So I'm here bleeding and cutting myself. But got this here set up so maybe I can see the sensor. Power steering pump's now mounted lower. As you can see now, the hose goes down, which means there's more than one to be flowing down from the actual um, reservoir. So I'm hoping this um, makes it feel a little better, honestly. Changed how to extend the wire a little bit and had to do mount this a little bit lower because it used to be up there, but now it's right here. So, probably gotta add a couple more zip ties to this right here. And yeah, there's one last thing that I wanted to try to do before I started it. So you can see I had to take everything else off though. But I wanted to try and um, get different power steering fluids. Someone told me to try Dex 5 or something like that. So I'm gonna try to do that. That's gonna be, um, I guess my next move. You can tell I'm dirty, sweaty, and tired, but got that at least fully knocked out. It just technically means fluid. I can pick some up in the morning. So first downpipe, two bolts came out super easy, super fast. Um, so you guys saw the little crack. So a crack, I'm gonna try to fix that, obviously. And I'm gonna take these off and try to play around with some fan setups and see if I can get something a little stronger going on. Well, there it is. Turbo fully removed. The main part of the turbo kind of just floating. The exhaust housing over there. And I actually have a really small exhaust housing. I didn't even think I had a smaller one. I might, have, I might get a bigger one. 
172. I might actually look up one real quick and see if any are in stock and if I can get a bigger one. Seems like this thing's also like changing shapes. It seems circular. But as you can see the color, this shit's getting hot. So it's probably changing colors too. But here's what I saw. And that's what I'm gonna try to replace. And I'm gonna obviously look at this now a little bit better. Let's see if I can find any more cranks. All right, here we are. I got it cleaned up. You can kind of see the crack better. I got two holes drilled down the end to be able to stop the, the crack from spreading. I got it back purging right now. Got it on the block. Got it back purging. After that, the next thing I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to brace it somehow. I might do like one from here to there, and one from here to there somehow. Maybe even one here. Just so I, if it moves, it doesn't move that much. Here we go. formula drift here it is braced up over here added this one also and this one it's just hell hot so i gotta be careful but i'm hoping that helps out a good bit some thick stainless One of the first things I made out of titanium that like took my time and prepped and was actually kind of cool. Still fits actually super neat. Check it out. Oh, it's stuck on it. Okay. I'm dropping everything. And that's it. It like clicks perfectly. Just like that. Well installed i didn't take a running video but it runs it drives try to bleed the water a little bit more seems like got a lot of air bubbles there at the end it was just running for a while and there was no air bubbles going on at the beginning there was a lot so maybe that was also a thing somehow i got a whole bunch of air bubbles into this i don't know i don't know i don't know but, um yeah I think that's gonna be it. I'm probably gonna call it quits, go get dinner.